All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here at the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. I'm on the short little 50-yard range. This thing is actually pretty cool where we are. I feel like I'm in my own little private area. It's nice. But anyway, uh, being it's 50 yards long, it's perfect for testing stuff. Uh, going ahead and getting a 50-yard zero on this guy right here. This is the primary arms platinum. But the thing that I changed up on this guy is I put uh, a worn tactical scope mount on it. And... Uh, guys, one of the things I like uh, when I do a competition, something like that, and I, I steered away from the worn uh, scope mounts, is I don't want a QD mount on a competition rifle, simply because if it pops off, um, the, the possibility that you're going to be hitting 300-yard targets is going to be meh, slim, especially if they're you know, sub-MOA. So anyway, I went ahead with a, uh, the worn tactical. And this is their skeletonized one. I've done a bunch of reviews on these things in the past, a lot of fun. But what we've done is I also have the 45 degree uh, backup iron sights from Magpul. These are the Magpul Pros. And what we're gonna do today is I've got two things. One is I want to see where my 55 grain land using this optic in uh, relationship to the 77 grain. So we, we're going to go ahead, we're going to use the 77 grain for the competition load for this is going to be long distance, uh, out past 100 yards. But what I want to see is that how well do they hit with the same zero at 50 yards using 55 grain. So after we do that, we're going to go ahead and dial in those uh, backup iron sights to 45 degree. Now, some of you may ask, why am I using backup iron sights instead of a red dot? Well, in my division, it's TAC Ops, uh, we can't use a red dot. That's open division. If my good friend Pops Quest, he's going to be running open division, which is a full-blown semi-automatic uh, magazine-fed shotgun uh, with a full-blown open gun, 9 millimeter with the red dot. So he can have a red dot on a shotgun. He can use a 45-degree angled red dot on his rifle where I have to go with irons on my shotgun, I have to, I can't have a red dot on my pistol nor my rifle. So, but we can use irons, which is nice for doing the CQB stuff. You know, hose them down. So let's do this real quickly. We're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna pop uh, about five rounds. I'm gonna use a bag today just to uh, see what it looks like for our 77 grain. And then I'm going to go ahead and shoot up the uh, 55 grain doing the same thing. I'm going to hunker down here. Here we go. All right. And what I'm trying to do, I do have a camera down there, you know by now. <laughs> Let's see where these guys match up with that. Okay, so if I needed to, I could bring this down to one power, like this, and hit paper targets. So, wow, that's a clear shot. All right, hopefully that hit the clear targets. Now let's do this. I'm using 55 grain American Eagle Federal. Let's go ahead and load up five, and let's see where those irons land up at. And I hope I don't kill my camera. There's uh, probably no, zero educational value in this video, but I want you guys to see in the, in the upcoming couple of weeks, you're seeing uh, a bunch of folks. X-Ring, uh, Rick is your six cover, just did a thing. He's testing out ammo. Uh, I'm doing the J. Kenny lifter, all kinds of stuff. So we're getting involved in a lot of cool things that you normally wouldn't see, and these are behind the scenes. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead as best I can <laughs> and shoot let's see where that landed nice thing about having an optic on the rifle I can't tell which is which man I love that smell Okay, I'm thinking this, the one's a little bit low and do the right. So what I want to do, put this thing on safe. We want to go left, 
one, two, three, four, five. And then I want to go up. Let's see if that did anything. Here we go. All right, that's my bad mag. All right, let's see. Okay, I can't tell. Let's go ahead and put some pasties over top of that target so we can get a clear idea of exactly where this thing is being zeroed at. Here we go, stand by. All right, let's burn up five more and see where these guys land. Oh, man, that's twice now. No lock back. All right, how we do? Okay, we need to come up a little bit more. And the left. Let's try, uh, let's try a full-size mag and see if that works better. Let's see where those go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop five more rounds. I just want to make sure we uh, may need to open this gas block a little bit, but that's why we test, 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 and test till we just were tested out. And that's just my mentality. Here we go. Okay. I'm pleased with that. I can't help it. All right, guys. Well, that's it, man. This is uh, part of the preparation. What did we learn? Well, one, our 55 green lines up really good with the uh, 77 green at 50 yards. The uh, My backup iron sights are zeroed in, so we're good to go for CQB. And, uh, man, we just have fun like that. Let me show you a little bit about uh, CQB. Here we go. Hold on. Okay, so there you are. You know, you're at your uh, little three-gun event. You got your backup iron sights here. And then, you know, the guy's going to say, uh, make ready. You know, I'm going to do that right there. And he's going to say, are you ready? You're going to nod your head. He's going to go stand by. But because, because, I say it again, because that little uh, sight, that uh, thing right there is real close. Well, you don't want to use your optic. You could, but say, for instance, we're going to be shooting here. And then I got a 200 yard target right there. So there, that's how that works. <laughs> and that's why we use these guys. A lot of fun. So anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, backup iron sights, why you want to need them in three gun. Let's go to Boy 32. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform.
for our freedom because freedom is not free. And uh, sometimes the women in uniform got to be reminded who are boss. And that's why we have the Second Amendment. How do you like them beans? Let's go to Boy 32. I'm out.